Now just uh, preparing the drive for paint. Thought I'd get uh, a little bit of snapshot between uh, now and before I flip it over to the other side. You can see there was a lot of corrosion. Um, actually, I lost a little bit of the skig too, but in the in the skig and certainly around like the bearing carrier, I got quite a bit of corrosion back in here. So a little disappointing, but I'm going to try and add a an anode to the prop shaft. There's not one there now, so but. We're pretty well finished on this one side. I managed to be able to use a five inch uh, sander to be able to get most of it done. There was quite a bit of work on in terms of like hand sanding in through here and into the corners. And it turned out that the uh, drive had been painted before and they didn't do a very good job. You can kind of see there's a little bit of uh, the primer, the green primer. But it's not consistent throughout. It's kind of all over the place. There's a little bit here, a little bit up in the top, but not not everywhere. So I'm not really sure what the heck they did when they when they were preparing it. But this is where I've gotten to so far. I used uh, 180 grit to to get most of it done, and then 220 to uh, to smooth out all, all the uh, sanding marks. And again, I got quite a bit of corrosion up in here. I haven't quite decided whether or not I'm going to use like a JB Weld or something to sort of fill the pit marks and smooth it out, but uh, I guess I'll decide before I do the next update. Actually, it's out to do some work to get the uh, the clutch repaired on the top, a little shifting problem. And uh, so while it's out, I thought I'd get a chance to get at least this drive done. And uh, you can see they had the top off when they were taking the the gears and the clutch out. I'll sand it down. I gotta I plug the hole so that there's nothing can get into it. But I'll flip it over and actually I get a get a snapshot before I start sanding. We'll get a view of what it looks like. Okay so this is what it looks like on the on the other side. This is again part missing but you can kind of see like there's quite a bit of corrosion. Especially around the bearing carrier. We're a bit concerned about if I ever take that off. But yeah. quite a bit you can see where the paint is quite bubbled in spots so not uh, now a lot of this was like this actually when I bought the bought the boat a couple of seasons ago again you can see up here we're getting quite a bit of quite a bit of corrosion and flaking so not a real good job of whoever painted it before, but we'll get that all cleaned up. I want to give it a, a good good cleaning and a good scrubbing and give it a, a proper paint job. So that uh, hopefully after this with uh, the right anodes on it, I don't end up with nearly as much of a problem going forward. And it's just touch up. So I'll get to it. And the next view will be, hopefully this whole thing sanded on this side. So here's the, uh, the second side of the drive. We got it all sanded down. The, uh, it actually cleaned up pretty well. The corrosion's not, uh, wasn't too deep. There's actually not that much pitting. It's just marked up a bit. A, uh, the drive had been painted, but not very well. So, where where I had the opportunity, I took this top layer of paint off, and this is kind of back to the back to the original paint now. So, anyway, it was a, a lot of work. I think next time, actually, I might consider doing a, a sandblast instead. Um, might be a lot easier. So, just getting ready now to uh, to do the cleaning and first step is to uh, wash it down and I'll be using acetone to get all the grease off and then soap and water to make sure that there's no grease spots on it and then we'll do an etch with uh, Luma prep actually it's right here that's it there I got it and then after that we'll do uh, do an alodyne 
and then off to paint. So hopefully we're going to get uh, all of the cleaning and the etching done today. I just got to figure out a way of hanging this thing to be able to do that. So that'll be the next. How I'm putting on the, uh, it's called aluminum prep. Oh, my uh, mask is getting down on me here. Just, I'm not going to show a lot. I, with my iPhone, it's hard to sort of hold it and I'm supposed to have my mask on here anyway, my respirator. So, but just to give you an idea, just what I'm doing is making sure that it stays wet. I give it about, uh, about five minutes, I'm trying to be really careful that it doesn't run all over the place and uh, making sure that I'm just doing little sections at a time, give you an idea. It probably would be easier if I was to hang this thing, but uh, decided to do it this way. Just to stick my time, just do little pieces at a time. So just let that sit there for five minutes or so, make sure it stays wet all the time for the instructions, and then I'll uh, wash it off with some water, rinse it, and then move on to the next suction. And then when I get that done, I'll flip it over to the other side. And then uh, I'll put the alodyne on. I haven't decided whether to do it the same way or whether to try to hang it and then do it that way. It might be easier to try and hang it for the alodyne. I don't need to worry about the corrosive properties of the alumina prep getting kind of into crevices and stuff where I don't want it to go. So I'm trying to be careful around the, the head area. And as you can see, I have... The guys are doing, my mechanics are doing a clutch change, so that's actually why the drive is off. So I took the opportunity to uh, to take it apart and to sand it down and get the corrosion off. So, you know, the head cover and the back cover are off. I'll put the back cover on. Actually, the paint's not bad on the other side, and then uh, the top cover will stay off for paint, and we'll get that cleaned up there. So anyway, I thought I'd give a quick show of what's going on there, and then uh, I'm going to get the rest of the drive done. So this is the view with the etching finish, the Aluma Prep 33. Just uh, looks nice and bright. I was pretty pleased with how everything turned out. I just took my time, did section by section, and in the end, I uh, I did end up having to hang it because uh, it just seemed to work better. And you kind of see what I did with getting it offset there. I intend to sort of leave it there so that. Uh, when it's painted, I can just uh, flash around behind it there as well. I have someone else who has all the equipment for the the two-part epoxy or polyurethane paint, so he's going to do it for me. So, you know, turned out really well. I was pretty pleased overall. So, the next step. And this is to put the alodyne on. Now I got the 1101, which is clear. Would have been smarter to get the 1201, which uh, turns like a, a golden or an amber color. Would have been a lot easier to see where to make sure that I had coverage where it needed to be and stuff, but it is what it is. So we'll uh, let this dry a little bit, just to make sure it's dry. And then uh, we'll get on with the alodyne. So what what I did was, as you can tell, it's uh, indoors. I have a, uh, not sure if that'll show, but it's snowing out there. So doing this in the garage was not going to be an option. But, so I got a fan going and have a good air circulation through. So I'll uh, make sure that we were able to have my respirator and stuff on to be able to do the out. The yeah, Aluma Prep. I'll uh, make sure we're not uh, touching it at all. So next step is the Alodyne and then off to the paint shop to get painted. Yeah. Got the drive back from paint. A buddy of mine has the tools and equipment and is kind of into the business and had the spray booth. so. I took it over to him and all primed and ready to go. 
and we used a two-part epoxy urethane high gloss primer and simply put a clear coat over the top of it we actually didn't use a top coat of paint got some new decals to spruce it up they were almost as expensive as doing the whole bloody drive and then there's a few a couple of runs on it and stuff but you know not too worried about that. Again, it was a lot better job than I could have done myself. And uh, my intent really was to take care of the corrosion and really get the drive in a state that I could sort of maintain it from going forward. And uh, as you saw in the previous pictures, there was quite a bit of corrosion on, on this one. So this project is pretty well over. I'll take the drive back up to the marina so they can finish the work on the uh, clutch and stuff over the winter and we'll get on to the port drive. So I'll end with a couple of before and after pictures.